Hi guys, you are watching Easy English Channel. In today's session, I am going to tell you something about uh, active and passive voice. Before starting with the session, friends, I would like to recommend you that if you have not subscribed Easy English Channel, do subscribe Easy English, Easy English Channel and get latest videos on your screen. So, uh, before uh, one more thing, I would like to uh, express, friends, if you want new topics to be explained, you can write on the comment section, and we would we would be definitely uploading new uh, videos on the specified uh, topics as per your demand so please do write in the comments section whatever the topics you want me to explain so let's start with today's session friends first of all uh, let me tell you what is active voice and passive voice active and passive are basically verb active voice is a voice uh, in which the subject is the doer of an action and subject performs the action like i will take the english class here i is the subject and he is doing the action so i i is the uh, subject so uh, an an active voice the subject is the doer of an action therefore verb is said to be active voice and in this subject does all the action now next is passive voice passive voice is this this class is taken by me in this subject becomes object object becomes subject so uh, in the passive voice the uh, subject is the receiver of an action so in passive voice uh, the uh, the importance is given to the work not uh, the subject who is doing the work so in passive voice the, the subject becomes object object becomes subject so the sentence would be like this this class is taken by me so here the the importance is given to the class not the uh, subject or the person who is taking the class so i hope you have understood uh, the difference between active and passive voice now let me express the rules of changing from active into passive first rule is subject becomes object second rule is object becomes subject third rule you have to always use third form of the verb wherever wherever you are changing from active to passive and fourth rule you the uh, you have to uh, you have to always change the tense tense would be changing by adding some more verbs and fifth rule the base form of the sentence will not change if you are changing from active to passive like if it is in a negative sentence then you have to form it in negative let's say an example i am not doing this work so this this work is not being done by me if it is interrogative form then you have to change it to interrogative form do you like to study maths is a maths liked by you this is how it has to be changing so i hope you have understood the concept of active and passive voice let me explain once more in active voice the subject is the subject is the doer of an action in passive voice the subject becomes the receiver of an action while changing from active into passive you have to change the subject into object then object into subject and you have to use third form of the verb after that you have to uh, you have to uh, uh, change the tense and then you have to use the base form of the sentence always remember friends base form of the sentence will not change if it is in a positive form then it has to be converted into positive form it, if it is in a negative form then it has to be converted into negative form then it is a, if it is in a question form then it has to be changed into question form so i hope friends you have understood the concept between active and passive voice 